Diodes are pretty important when it comes to electronic components. In fact, it's one of the most basic electronic components. And what a diode does is that it works like a one-way valve, a check valve or a one-way street if you are talking in the traffic sense. A diode typically looks like this. It has two terminals. As you can notice over here, one of the terminals has this little silver strip. And this silver strip is known as the cathode of the diode. And the other remaining terminal, of course, is the anode. To test your diode, you can set your multimeter in diode mode. This is the diode symbol, as you can see. And the area which has this strip, or you can say the terminal which has this uh, little strip is the cathode of the diode. I'm using this uh, clamp meter. You can use any basic multimeter. Most of the multimeters can test diodes. Affiliate buying links for all kinds of multimeters will be available in the description below. To test the diode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the cathode, the terminal with the silver strip to the negative probe of my multimeter and the remaining one anode, I'm going to connect it with the positive probe of my multimeter. So let's do it and let's take a reading. You guys can focus over here. And here we have a reading which says 0.483. So what is this 0.483 or 482? So this is basically the dropout voltage or you can say the forward voltage of this diode. And this energy is actually being wasted when the current is flowing through the diode. And this wastage happens in the form of heat. So as you notice, when the circuit is working, diodes get really hot. Okay, now let's learn how to find out a faulty diode. What I'm going to do is basically because this is a one-way wall, it should not allow any kind of current flow in the reverse direction. So I'm just going to reverse it like this and let's take a reading once again. And here we can see that there is no reading, which means that this is a good diode. It has not leaked. If you have a leaky diode, then you will be seeing some kind of reading over here, even when it is connected in the reverse order. So here we can see that this is a good diode and it can be used. Now diodes are available in a couple of different designs. This is the most common design. This is known as a through hole kind of design. The problem with this design is that you cannot connect a heat sink to this kind of uh, diode. As we talked earlier, they do get hot. So these diodes are okay for very low power, low current applications, but for high current and high power applications, I have a bit of collection over here. So here is one more kind of diode. This is known as a bridge rectifier. And bridge rectifier is basically a collection of four diodes. You can say it has four diodes inbuilt inside of this whole package and it is available as a single package. And this is commonly used to convert AC or you can say it is used to rectify AC into DC. Make sure to subscribe to this channel because a separate video for bridge rectifiers is being planned. There is one more kind of diode package, which is this one. This is one of my personal favorite packages. This is known as a TO220 style package. And the benefit of this thing is that it allows you to connect a heat sink to the body of this diode very easily. And if you focus over here on this particular symbol, you can see that this thing is actually a collection of two diodes. One is over here, one is over here. And in the middle, you have a common cathode. So let's test this one. So middle leg, is the cathode you can connect your multimeter over here or this diode is also this entire heatsink body this part is also the cathode so you can also put your probe over here like this it should give you a reading all right so let's i have put one negative probe over here to the body and let's test the first diode because this thing is a collection of two diodes let's get a reading over here it says 0.4 volts that is it's going to waste around half a volt and it's going to convert that to heat, which is going to be taken away using this heat sink. So this is the first diode, it says 0.4 volts. This is the second diode. Again, it is 0.4 volts over here, as you can see. Let me focus this for you. I have connected it over here. And the middle pin is going to be the common, so it's going to simply show zero on the multimeter. All right, let's reverse the probe and let's see if this diode is good or faulty. If it has leaked, it should put out some reading for you guys to see on the multimeter. So I'm connecting the positive lead of this multimeter over here. Let's test it. No reading on this side. No reading. Let's connect it properly. It's a little bit pesky. Okay. So this no reading. All right. 
both of the sides no reading and middle is going to be common so it will be zero so as you can see this is a good kind of diode now let's talk about one of the basic applications of a diode which is reverse polarity protection what i have over here is a dc to dc buck converter and these buck converters are vulnerable to reverse connections see what we do is we often get excited and we try connecting it to the battery sometimes in reverse order and that blows up this buck converter just like that so what i've done is i've used this 6 amp diode to provide reverse polarity protection let's talk how the connections work so this is the positive side all right the diode is connected on the positive side of this buck converter or this load you can have something else over here you can have a motor you can have your led chip you can have some other circuit so this is the positive side all right and the silver strip of the diode is pointing towards this towards this load or towards this positive terminal as you can see and now even if you connect this wires in the reverse order what it will do is it will block any kind of voltage any kind of harm from coming to this load or this buck converter so that is how you use a diode for reverse polarity protection guys if you want to check more videos with respect to electronics on this channel there will be a couple of cards popping up on your screen you can directly click on them and check out those videos as well so that's it for this neat little video take care and have a nice day